Hi everybody, Sam and I are here to teach you today about the state board and curls. So we have our rollers, we have our perm. Now it's time to do some pin curls. We are going to start with the hair wet. It's totally optional, but you can use finger waving lotion. I highly recommend it. It will help to hold that hair, make it a little bit more flexible when you're trying to do the pin curls. Only have to do eight of them. First row is going to be a diagonal ridge. So we're gonna start by combing the hair all back. Remember that your finger is placed where you would like your ridge to be. So we want our ridge to be right about here. So I'm gonna start by putting my finger here, comb behind my finger and pulling the hair downward about an inch. Then I'll lay my comb back, switch my fingers to hold my ridge and comb the hair upward in the opposite direction. <clears throat> when I go to do this part, something that's a little bit more difficult or challenging is that the rollers are still in the head. So you have to be careful not to knock into them and pull any of that hair out. So we're gonna do the same thing here and go again. Keep in mind that your rollers have already been graded. So if you were to, let's say, take a little bit of hair out of them, it shouldn't affect you at all, but just be careful of that. So there's my diagonal ridge. I always explain to my students that when they do the curls right next to this, that they want to hug the ridge but not smother it. So an examiner doesn't want to get their hands dirty and take out your pin curls to make sure that your ridge is here. So if you put your pin curls right up against it, but you don't cover it, they will be able to see it. The state exam says that you have to have three or more curls. I always recommend to do four because you don't want to have too much hair in there. It'll be hard to keep it in the pin. So kind of look at the space that you have, figure out so that they're even how big you should make your subsection. I'm going to put my finger down and take a slicing of hair. This first row needs to be clockwise curls, so the same movement as the movement of the hands of a clock. So I don't want to comb this, I don't want to take my ridge out. I'm going to use my right finger, indent my arc, ribbon it, wrap it, place it, make sure that you do not cover your stem right here. We want to see the direction again without touching them, and pin. Again, take a slicing of hair, indent my arc, ribbon, wrap, place it, make sure your ends are on the inside, oops, that happens sometimes, place and secure. You can see your stem, we're right up against the ridge. There's another way to make pin curls, it's not my favorite way, but I'll show it to you. Again, indent your arc, ribbon, but if you'd like to make your curl from the end, you can do that, just make sure that your ends are on the inside of the curl. and then you can roll that hair downward. Again, consistent pinning is important. And then my last one, I'll do it that way again so that you can see another one. Ribbon it, wrap so that your ends are on the inside. Place it and pin it. So an examiner is looking that you have open centers in all of your curls. Um, they're looking to make sure that they're all about the same size, size of a quarter, that can fit inside, that your pinning is all consistent. My second row of curls are carved curls. These ones we're going to start from the bottom and they will be counterclockwise. So again, I will start with a C shaping. Always start with a C shaping. I want there to be about a finger width between my first row and my second row of curls. So put your finger down. Take again a slicing of hair, left finger indent, ribbon, wrap, hug your stem, but don't cover or smother the stem. And now my stem is going this direction, so I need to pin parallel to it again. You have 10 minutes to do the pin curls on the state exam. So if you figure that you have about one minute to make your ridge and about a minute each to make your pin curls, that puts you at nine minutes. The 10 minutes for the pin curl shouldn't be too difficult. So third one, and then that last one, I'll make the other way, just so that you can see one done. And we'll start from the end, make my curl, and pin it. Again, you can see my stem without even touching the pin curls. You can see that they're going the correct direction. <clears> there <throat> we go, well, they're finished. 
Mesh Pink Rose. Make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel below.